Hey guys, it's the Coaster Battleman here, bringing you an awesome video. Um, first, I'm going to show you my Millennium Force wallpaper on my computer, and let's move on to the park battle we are going to do in this video. Okay, we're back, and we're on the park battle. Six Flags over Texas versus Canywood in my park tournament. Here is my score system. I used this score system in the previous park battle, if you didn't know. Let's move on. The Premier Rides Launch Coasters. Over Texas has Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast, a Premier Rides Launch Coaster, and Kennywood has Skyrocket. Both are good rides, but Mr. Freeze is a bit better. Smallest Woodies in the Park. Both these are good rides. Judge Roy Scream is losing its airtime. As it's getting older and older, so that's why it's not getting as high of a score as it probably would have in the 1980s. Kennywood has Jack Rabbit, and it has a great double down, which is the only reason I'm giving it 6 out of 10. Common Family Coasters. Exterminator is actually a very good wild mouse coaster. I'll give it 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 because it spins around and it's indoors. Over Texas has a Aerodynamics Mine Train, the original Mine Train, Runaway Mine Train. I'm giving it 3 out of 10 because it's not too intense at all until the very end. So that's why, yeah. Okay, moving on. Large Wooden Coasters. These are the best woodies in the park. New Texas Giant is an RMC iBox track. The original RMC, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. It's so awesome. And Kennywood has... The Thunderbolt, a John A. Miller Woody. I'm giving 7 out of 10. This is a great coaster here at Kennywood. Kids Coasters. Both these coasters are kids coasters, but I think they're fairly smooth, so I'm giving both parks 2 points each. Hyper Coasters. Over Texas has Titan, the Gaio Vanola Hyper Coaster. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. The only reason I took off a few points because, is because the drop isn't too steep. Well, it is kind of steep, but it's not the steepest drop on a hyper coaster. And the mid-course brake run kills all the momentum. And, but Kennywood has an insane hyper coaster called the Phantom's Revenge. It's super fun, and the second drop is bigger than the first. Extra coasters at Over Texas. They got Batman the Ride, the Cloned Invert, Shockwave, the Schwarzkopf Multi Looper, Lava Bora, a Bobsled, Willie E. Coyote's Canyon Blaster, a Kids Coaster, Runaway Mountain, an Indoor Family Coaster, and Pandemonium, your traditional spinning coaster by Gerslauer. Flat Rides. Over Texas has Riddler's Revenge, the Justice League Dark Ride, Superman Tower of Power, and the Texas Sky Screamer. Kennywood has Arrow 360, Black Widow, Garfield's Nightmare, Noah's Ark, Swingshot, and Ghostwood Estate. Let's move on from there. The Charm. Over Texas has some good charm. Some good Texas charm. I'm giving it 6 out of 10, but it's a Six Flags Park. What do you expect? It's not going to be the most charming. But Kennywood has some great charm. Their areas aren't the most themed. But it's still very, very charming and very well kept. And for the operations, Over Texas has great operations. It may not be like Cedar Point good, but it's still very good. Kennywood's operations tend to be slow and they run one train on each coaster, which is the only reason I'm giving it 3 out of 10. And winning by 25 points is... Six Flags over Texas, congratulations. You beat Kennywood by 25, and you are going into the next round against Cedar Point. Good game. Six Flags over Texas, 100. Kennywood, 75. Stay tuned for more videos.